I love fishing in October. The fish are feeding really heavily because they're trying to fatten up for winter. So they'll eat almost anything you throw down there typically, but I'm using minnows today and I'm keeping the fish. Fall time, during the fall is when you can normally get those bigger crappie as well because they've been feeding so much. You know, after a spawn, they kind of get skinny a little bit and they got to put that weight back on them. There's a lot of small ones in this. I'm trying to get the small ones away. Here comes a bigger one, I think, out of the brush. I'm trying to avoid the small ones to get the keepers. There's a better one. All right. Here we go. Nice one. That one was down there about five, six seconds. Okay, using the thump detective crappie sticks. Check them out. The poles are awesome. They're very light, but got a strong backbone on them. See how long it takes again. About eight seconds when I counted. Maybe I was off. Let's go with ten. There's a nice that's the big one. Nice slab on this one. Oh, get the boat. It came off, that's good. Over 12 inch crappie, it's a nice one. <coughs> so they're hungry this time of year. Love October fishing for crappie. They're aggressive. Lots of numbers on the brush piles. Where I was going to head today, I was going to head to a different part of the lake, but the wind is blowing over 20 miles an hour, so I had to come to a little, excuse me, I had to come to a little cove that is protected because it's difficult enough to stay spot locked at this spot, but where I wanted to go, the wind was going to be blowing directly into it. So it's supposed to die down a little later today, but we'll see. I don't plan on being out here too long, hopefully. Hopefully catch my, my limit and head on with the rest of my day. All right, let's try it again. slab that one just took a little bit longer to get them to bite I think it's because I've caught several already so we'll give this a couple more minutes and if it's the same way we'll move on to a different spot there we go that one shot up after Just made it. Okay. I don't think this is a crappie. Cat bass or catfish. 
That's a largemouth bass. At least a two pounder. Pound and a half. All right. It's a good one. It's a big slab there. Nice. Thumb's gonna be raw. If you know, you know. Crappie fishermen know what I'm talking about. Hitting it pretty good. Another one in the box. Right. The bite had slowed down because I'd caught uh, five or six already off of this brush. And then they didn't want to bite. They were, weren't were very aggressive. So I changed up my pattern. What I did is I went uh, down right next to the brush pile deep, uh, almost close to the bottom. I'm in 14 feet of water. But it sat there just about two seconds. And then I raised up really quick, about three feet, stopped. Raised up real quick, about another foot, and they shot up after these last two. So, just holding it, this minnow steady wasn't working anymore, so I had to switch it up. So, you may have to do that if they stop biting just to see what else is going to work. Just holding it. Doesn't have it yet. There we go. That is good. I just want to be close. I think he's good. There we go. We're good. That's nine off this one, this one brush, and there's still another six or seven dozen down there. Let's see if I can get this to show you. And then I'll add it in. Yeah, lots of crappie mixed in here. Measure and make sure we're legal. He is, even with his chewed up tail, he's legal. Tap him, but they don't have it. Now he's holding it. Now he's holding it. That's a good one. Yeah. Okay, 11 inch crappie. Eleven inch crappie, and that's number eleven. All right. This is a different brush pile. I came to a different part of the lake. They stopped biting at the first one I was at. 
We caught 10 off of there. I wasn't planning on fishing this spot, but because of the wind so bad, I'm having to choose which brush piles I'm fishing just to be out of the wind. And this egg's actually loaded with crappie, so. We've got two to bite. Caught one, I lost the first one. Do is and raises it up really quick. Stopping. Raise up real quick, just pause. There go, there's a bite. Is it up? Trying to get them to chase it. There's one. I think he's very big, but he hit it pretty hard. Not a keeper, but he hit it harder than my biggest one today. Wow, I think what we got, bass or catfish? Nope, just a crappie. He had it for a while too. Didn't swallow this one. I saw my line go slack. It was a dead minnow. He didn't care if it was dead or not. Should be a keeper, should be just over 10. And he is. Okay. That's two really quick. Let's see if this one's a keeper. He is, he made it. This is another good spot right here. Made it. Okay. Print. black let's see I think he's good yep he's good he's in a dead chewed up minnow let's see if he'll bring in the third one he's holding it That's a slab there. That's a nice one. Wow. Over 12 inch, over 12 inches. I say 12 inch a lot. Inches. I love fishing in the fall, it's great. At the lake, at the coast, anything in October, fish usually bright. The fish usually bite pretty well. There's a good one. 
I don't think it's going to be crappie catfish, maybe. Yep. Little channel cat, the way he was turning, twisting. You can tell they fight. They're just rolling around in there. I'm going to use my pliers because, there we go. Another keeper. Yep, 11 inches. They're not as big on this one. Well, one of them was a good size, but um, they're keepers. And they're more aggressive. That's the find, the, find the fish that are actually hungry. It's 18, taking them a while on this one. They just weren't very aggressive. And holding it, holding it, holding it. Go to start raising it very slowly, and they let go. Pause it, and they were coming back to hit it again, so. But we're still catching them. Playing with it. Doesn't have it yet. There we got it. Another keeper. Getting some groceries. Ooh. Okay. Another keeper. Now he's got it. Big slab. Big slab. Come on. 12 inches at least. All right. Good. All right, that's it for today. Hit four brush piles, ended up with 19 keepers. First brush pile was good, second one was not, third one was there, uh, and then the fourth one was about the same as the first, so it was pretty good. But uh, after you catch several of them, they stop biting. But um, had to fight through with small ones in order to get these, but if you like what you see, hit that like and subscribe. I would appreciate it, trying to get the channel to grow, but we need your help to do it. Here's the fish. I'll show them to you. All right, everybody. Y'all stay safe. Hey, everybody. At the end of our shows, we like to do a short devotional, and so I want to read a, c a couple of verses to you, but explain what happened. So I had a, a a young kid, he's a seventh grader, came up to my door a couple of weeks ago, asked if there was any work that he could do for some money. I said, well, I don't think I really have anything. And he said, well, I can sweep your porch. So I said, okay. So I, he swept the porch, gave him $7. He came back a week later, asked again. And I said, I have one job, but I'm not sure if you're really going to want to do it. And he said, what? And I said, well, I pick up the dog poop in the backyard, you know, prior to us mowing. So he said, I'll do it. So kids, he, Seventh grader, like I said, but very respectful, uh, very well mannered, and didn't just come up ask for money. He asked if there's something he could do for it. So then another week came by. Well, in between that, I, I talked with Kenny. I was like, "Hey, we got to. I would like to get this kid a Bible." 
and talk about Jesus with them. So I got a Bible. Kenny wrote down a couple of verses for me. It's Romans 10, verses 9, 10, and 13. And so in preparation, if he was going to, if the kid was going to show up again, I was like, I'm going to, I'm going to read him these verses. And I asked him when he came by, I said, what made you stop at my door? Have you stopped at anyone else's door? And he said, no, he just decided to knock on my door. And I'm in the middle of the street near a cul-de-sac. So it's kind of out of the way. And he didn't knock on any other door before then. And he lives almost a half a mile away in the neighborhood. So I was like, something's going on here. And I think what it is, is I need to uh, tell him about Jesus, if he doesn't already know. So long story short, he came by again. He asked if I had another work, some more work for him. I said, no, but I do have something for you. So if you got a couple minutes, so we sat on the porch and I read him these verses. It's Romans 10, Romans 10, verses 9, 10, and 13. Because if you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you will be saved. For with the heart one believes and is justified, and with the mouth one confesses and is, and is saved. And then verses 13 says, For everyone who calls on the name of the Lord will be saved. So I read him those verses, explained to him what it meant. I asked him if he had heard of uh, Jesus. Uh, he says he had. He knew he was the Son of God, he said. I asked him if he believed in Jesus. He said yes. So after reading this, I said, you know, this is a prayer between you and God. And if, if you say this, if you believe it, then you are saved. It doesn't matter what anyone else says. If you read this, then you are saved. And if you do believe this in your heart and you do do this, say this prayer, then tell someone. It's a good news, right? So we don't want to just keep it to ourselves. Tell somebody. So I, after talking with them, there was a couple more things that were, that just seemed to, uh, there was a reason why he came to my door, and I and I, I believe that that was the reason for me to tell him about Jesus. So, listen, don't be ashamed of your faith. Uh, if someone, if you have the opportunity to tell someone about Jesus, go ahead. It doesn't have to be anything uh, complex, just a simple, hey, here's Jesus. Here's what he's done for me. Here's these short little verses. All right, guys, uh, hopefully you take this to heart, and this is uh, helps you in some way. Thank you. God bless, and we'll see you on the water next time.